and welcome back to the hot lab and now f1 limited media and getting involved in this whole hauler thing i just wish it would just completely blow over and we could get along with the season essentially and i wasn't even going to do a video today about f1 but here we go hornet investigation they want it to be completed at earliest opportunity apparently yes this is from motorsport.com formula one hopes red board's investigation into the allegations in relation to Christian Horner is concluded at the earliest opportunity with the start of the season fast approaching. I imagine they don't want anyone talking about it come Bahrain, essentially. I mean, initially, I thought it was going to be done before uh, Red Bull's Red Bull's launch one way, one way or another. So Horner, as we know, he's been the subject of this, uh, of this unspecified, and they are unspecified. There's lots of people um, and media saying this is what they think it is. They may well have proof, but largely unspecified allegations made against him by what's what we are pretty sure is a female employee um and that's pretty much all we know a hundred a hundred percent once again innocent till proven guilty so he to be fair to horner as we keep saying he has denied any wrongdoing and faced a lengthy questioning by this independent barrister who was appointed by red bull to look into the matter that was last friday so while Red Bull is going um, through the process of analysing the findings, it says, of this investigation to decide what, if any, action is to take place. Horner has, I think understandably as well, because innocent to proven guilty again, re remained in his job. Now, he spoke last week at the launch of the team's new, you know, RB20 at Milton Keynes, and is expected to be at the pre-season testing in Bahrain. All media at the launch were pretty much saying, don't ask him any questions about the investigation, which I guess they're going to want to do, aren't they? Because... We do not know that much. And at that point, a lot of people in the media may well not come to their own conclusions, but search search, search for more, more information. And, you know, there's, there's conjecture as well. So there's been a lot of interest uh, surrounding the Horner affair. One, because Red Bull are the defending champions. They are Max Verstappen drive to them. Horner is Max's boss. As well as the nature of allegations, which you can kind of, you know, I can you could understand why there's a lot of media on this uh, but it's been growing in the recent days and a lot of people are saying including motorsport.com is likely to be intensifying as we go through testing and the first round in Bahrain now on Sunday uh, as in today at the time uh, today uh, F1's commercial rights holder they holders have issued a statement declaring that it hoped the matter would be resolved as soon as possible in what could be seen as and it says here, and I kind of agree, a clear message to Red Bull to not allow things to drag. They've said, we have noted that Red Bull has instigated an independent investigation into the internal allegations at Red Bull Racing. Um, you can just about see it here. If I make the story a bit smaller, maybe there we go. There it is, there it is. Yeah, so we've noted that Red Bull have instigated an independent investigation into internal allegations um at red bull there we go yes we hope the matter they went on to say and will be clarified at the earliest opportunity after a fair and thorough process and we will not comment any further at this time while f1 hopes that the situation is resolved quickly they're saying it has no formal authority to be able to force the matter and these things i think it should take as long as it takes we want the truth to come out if Horn is innocent absolutely if he's not Absolutely, but I think people want the truth to come out. But in relation to taking any action, Motorsport.com is reporting that this falls under the remit of the FIA and they could choose to get involved if there's any evidence of wrongdoing that goes against the standards that it upholds. Here it is, Article 12.2 of the International Sporting Code states that a competitor will be deemed to have committed an offence for any words, deeds or writing that writings that have caused moral injury or loss to the FIA, its bodies, its members, or its executive officers, and more generally on the interest of motorsport and on the values defended by the FIA. Now, F1 statement about Horner, about the Horner situation, comes uh, days after Red Bull's future engine partner, Ford, and we commented on that the other day, are keeping a close eye on the situation. They pretty much, not they've issued a statement, and that was at the Daytona 500. Now, um, as we know, they've said, as a family company and a company that holds itself to a very high standard of behavior and integrity, we do expect the same 
uh, from our partners. They're not Red Bull's partners yet, but they will be in 2026. And they've said it appears to us, and what we've been told, that Red Bull is taking the situation very seriously. And of course, they're worried about their brand as well. And that's why they've got an independent investigation. And until we see what truth comes out of that, it's too early for us to comment. Horner once again denied... Um, uh, has denied it and speaking at the launch it says uh, Horner said the investigation into his behavior had been a distraction for the team but insisted it would not impact on his focus he said everybody's focused on the season ahead so it's been business it's very much been business as normal the support he said has been fantastic and he also I think mentioned potentially partners were mentioned in in that support for Christian Horner hopefully one way for another we do get it done before the first race in Bahrain which is two weeks today however i would much if it's going to drag i'd much, i think my, myself and a lot of other people would much rather it takes longer if we're going to get a proper investigation into it one way or another once again you know this is people's lives we're, we're dealing with and i get why formula one wants to essentially end this investigation quick pr you know public relations etc but i feel the fact it's done properly should definitely take precedent anyway this has been the hot lap and we'll speak to you soon at testing week coming up so very exciting times see you later